Hey guys, what's up? It's Fat and Jolly Guy, and I'm coming to you today with a YouTube video, which is something completely new for me. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. Today, I want to talk about a program that I use for American Trucking Simulator known as Virtual Speditor. You can use it with European Truck Simulator 2 as well. It's a very handy app. It allows you to create your own jobs from any business that's available on the map to any business available on the map. And it's very convenient when you're trying to get to the dark edges of the map, trying to fill in roads, or if you play the multiplayer mod, you can uh, all have the same kind of locations if you're doing convoys and stuff like that. So in order to get the program, you're gonna have to go to uh, your Google search, just Google search Virtual Speditor, and you'll see a link here that says ETS2 Download Virtual Speditor Program. Click, give that a click, scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see Virtual Speditor 2 underscore one dot RAR. Go ahead and click that, download it. I've already done this. It comes up, looks like this. You're gonna need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to unzip this. I think you'd be able to handle that. Right click, extract files, create a new folder on your desktop or wherever you have this at. Click OK, and you get a nice folder of files. Double click that file, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see an exe or an application file called Virtual Speditor. Give that a double click. And it'll pull up and it'll look like something like this. I already have this set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. I'm gonna send these two to the recycle bin and we're gonna use the one that I already have set up. So from here, there's a couple things that I'd like to touch on. The first thing is freight market and own trailer. Freight Market allows you to bobtail and pick up loads independently. Own Trailer allows you to haul your own custom trailer and pick up cargo market loads um, at these locations. Uh, the biggest difference between the two is, is that Freight Market, you can stack a bunch of freights up on top of each other. So you can go from point A to point B, pick up a point B, take to a point C, pick up a point C, take to a point D. If you're using your own custom trailer, um, you can only do point A to point B and then you'll have to set up another load. First thing you're gonna to need to do is you're actually gonna go into your American Trucking Simulator game. What you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to make sure that your Steam Cloud save is disabled. You could do this by clicking the profile, clicking edit, and then right here you see use Steam Cloud, make sure that's unchecked. And the reasoning for that is, is that Speditor does not work with Steam Cloud saves. So once that's done, you're gonna click save, and then you're gonna go all the way into your game. And the reason for this is, is we need to create a designated save for Speditor. So once this loads up, you're just simply gonna go to save. You're gonna save your game. And I created a file that's called Speditor. You can go ahead and delete all these other saves. It makes it really easy to find which file you really need to look at. So, Speditor, click save, voila. Now, that's you don't have to keep Speditor as your only save. I just recommend that when you're using the program, you save to that uh, file because Speditor is always gonna look at the same location every time. So, go back to the Speditor program. You're gonna click the three line button here. You're gonna navigate to your profile, which in my case is PC, Documents, American Truck Sim, Profiles, going to be a large numbered file like so you're going to click on saves and then number one because it's the only hard save i have is speditor and you're going to click that click ok there you go and once you have that pathway directed you're going to click load you're going to see it decode a little black window pop up it'll say preparing data and then it says done and then you see a much bigger window pop up First thing I want to tell you to do, make sure your map selector is to the most up-to-date map. That way all the correct businesses are on the map and that kind of stuff. For this example, I'm going to stick in the freight market and we're going to do a there and back. So I'm just going to do a really quick local load. So you're going to go to source. Your source is where you're picking up. So for this instance, I'm going to pick up in Ontario since that's where my home garage is. And we're gonna pick up at home market. So these are abbreviated, so you'll you, once you get used to it, you'll know 
So like, um, ED Market is Eddie's Market, Frozen, GM Food Plant. Um, that's the home store market. Um, you you kind of get used to what you're looking at. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is destination. So I'm going to make my destination also Ontario. And I'm going to drop off at Ocon Home. Because that's the other home store that's there. So. And I'm going to take, you get to choose your load. So I'm going to haul over some furniture. So let's see here. Is there furniture? I know there's furniture. I just can't find it right now. Oh well. We're just gonna haul something over there. So it says cars big. We're gonna leave it cars big. You can go through the cargo. You can decide that kind of stuff. So you're gonna click add cargo. And you'll see here that a cargo has been added. Now, once again, with freight market, we can double stack. So you can already see that my source has now switched to the destination of this load and we can simply create another load so go to back to ontario let's go to the farm this time we're going to take logs apparently click add cargo we're going to save right here you're going to see file saved that's important go back over into american truck sim you're going to click save load i'm going to load your game now you're going to load this speditor save the Speditor save is now going to have those jobs on it. That's what's important. So what you're going to do is once the game loads up, you're simply going to go into your job market like you normally do. Go to freight market. I recommend clicking Ontario. These are going to be really short loads, so they'll be at the last part of the last part of the list. And you can see here are the two jobs that we created. So we're going to take this guy. Actually, we're going to take this guy first. No, this guy. So set GPS. And you can see here that the GPS is now set. So we're going to get this truck backed out here. We're gonna go pick up this first load. Except I'm heading the wrong direction. So we're gonna turn around now. And try not to wreck. Keyword being try. <laughs> so we're just gonna go down the street here and pick up this load. So once again, why do you want to use Speditor? Speditor is a fantastic program if you are trying to fill in the edges of your map. Keep left, um, then turn left. If you don't want to make uh, a dozen little trips to different places, turn you left. can um, you can make a nice pathway around your map. If you even if you play single player, you can do this. Um, if you play a multiplayer, it's really beneficial there because when you're running convoys with your friends and such like that, you can essentially all be going the same direction now. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, I only have a job to here, I only have a job to there, and so on and so forth. I forgot that I had to, uh, to pick it up, so let me... Uh, let me do my best reverse skills here and back up to that icon and accept this load so it shows up. <laughs> Those are pretty solid reverse skills, I have to say. So, freight market like you normally do. And there you go, cars. We're going to take that job. And we're going to go pick up this load and we're going to haul it across town. And then from there, we're going to grab the next load, and you can see how the pickup drop-off works. And I apologize for my daughter. My wife and her just got home. I'm sure you can hear her crying in the background. She's not being ignored. So...
attach this trailer. And there we go, and we're off. And we're gonna haul these cars just across town. And then when we get across town, you'll be able to see that we can pick up another load to and from, so. Try not to wreck this truck. I try really hard at that. doesn't help that I'm in third person view. <laughs> I think third person view looks better for um, video quality, you know? You can kinda, kinda see what's going on a little better. I should have really turned off traffic for this video just so I didn't have to worry about it. We're gonna break some traffic laws here. But yeah, you can use this with Truckers MP. You can use this in single player. You can use this program to, once again, generate loads to and from places you've never been. Or if you have a very specific route you like to run, um, you can generate that route. So there's a lot of applications for it. It's a very, very easy program to get to use, but it could also be very complicated. So the big things you're going to want to remember are to save your game using the Speditor file. You go into Virtual Speditor, click load, load your game. You're going to set your destination, set your source, click add if you're using freight or save if you're using your own trailer. And once again, if you use your own trailer, you can only do one, but you can see here now we have logs. This was the second part. So we're picking up logs from this exact company. So we're gonna take jobs and you can see here that our logs are already um, going to be located nearby for us. So we're just going to leave that trailer there and there's our logs over yonder. So you can see how it would be very quick if you're trying to run multiple freight runs to and from and if you're doing there in back runs so like if you're a TMP guy and you're doing like race miles or something like that you can set up these loads so that you have more time driving on the road and less time picking the the new locations and such so not to be giving away any inside secrets or anything but it is a very handy little program and you can see here, we're gonna run over here to the farm and drop this load off. So, but yeah, that's basically Virtual Speditor. So once we get uh, over to the farm, I'll take you back through it one more time. So. Basically the key points of using Virtual Speditor once it's installed, is make sure you save your game first. Then you're going to want to open Virtual Speditor. You're going to want to load that game. Select your source, where you're picking up. Your destination, where you're dropping off. And make sure you click Save inside of Virtual Speditor. Then once you get back into ATS, make sure you load that save. Even though you're not moving, even though you're not going anywhere, you need to reload that save. Because essentially, Virtual Speditor is a save editor. It creates these jobs on that save. Keep that, so then turn left. that's essentially what we're doing. And I'm sorry for the traffic, guys. Usually, I uh, usually when I'm doing videos and such, I uh, try to turn off the traffic so that I don't do things like that. It makes it cleaner. That way I can get to and from in the videos quicker. But anyway, we're just gonna go right over here and we're gonna drop off the farm. And that's gonna end the video. I hope you guys have learned some stuff today about Virtual Spreader. I hope this helps you. Um, if you do have any questions, always feel free to drop a message on the video. Um, you can message me on Twitter. 
can hit me up in Discord if you have it there. Um, you can come find me, twitch.tv slash fatjollyguy. Um, we stream ATS, and you can see the full custom dashboard that we have for this game. So, it's a lot of fun. We try to stream every night, 9 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, on days that I don't have to work, I uh, try to stream during the days, too. So, if that sounds like something you're interested in, we'd be glad to have you over there as well for the live streams. So, anyway, we're getting ready to drop off this load here. And we'll go through Speditor one more time. Just so that you guys can have one final review of it. So, save result. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna click save. You're gonna save your game. Make sure you save it under your Speditor file, whatever you've called that Speditor file. Click save. You're gonna tab out to Speditor. Make sure you click load. It's gonna load that data again. So there it is. Make sure your map selector is correct. We're currently running ATS-137. So we're gonna pick up from Oregon or Ontario. And we're at the farm, which is SC Farm. And we'll just take it somewhere in Ontario as well. We'll just take it over to Eddie's Market and click Add Cargo, click Save. See file save there. I'll tab back over into the game. Load game, click load. It's gonna load that saved edit up now. Go into your job market, freight market, and then click Ontario, shortest mobile barrier is what we picked this last time said GPS so we're already here and so just like in in a normal okay. in normal freight style um, you're just gonna go over and grab the highlight point and it's gonna be one of this company's jobs for you so you can see right here mobile barrier Take the job. There you go, guys. So that's Speditor in a nutshell. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Be glad to help you out. In the meantime, my name is Fat Jolly Guy, and this has been the first tutorial video of anything I've done for ATS. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the meantime, I love your face, and we'll see you over on Twitch.